and amiable welcome to everyone this is your allied lectum channel to enhance your understanding today's topic is about specimen rejection criteria sometimes test cannot be performed in the laboratory if samples fall short of the quality volume or other eligibility criteria in these cases the laboratory may need to reject the samples and not carry out processing why we need accountability why we should have responsibility rejection criteria are designed to prevent inaccurate data to in ensure the safety of patients to ensure the safety of laboratory personnel lab workers reason for sample rejection improperly labeled sample unlabeled sample incomplete information on the sample incomplete information on the requisition that mean form sub optimal sample that is leaking urine and or stool containers insufficient quantity in appropriate sample for test request duplicate microbiology samples received on the same day that is multiple stool sputum sample next sample delayed in transit that mean transport sample delayed in transport next point addition of a preservative such as formalin or alcohol sputum or bronchial specimens rejection sputum or bronchial specimen like bronco alveolar lavage which are collected through bronchoscope having poor specimen quality that is saliva as indicated by gram stain oral flora rare polyps polyps means abnormal tissue growth presence of epithelial cells epithelial cells means which normally lines the surface of the body next point limit of sample one per day not to exceed 3 per week urine rejection urine culture first morning specimen is preferred but random specimen will be processed specimen received after 2 hours of collection if not refrigerated or after 24 hours if refrigerated that is uh, collect panni 2 hours la vande specimens vande receive pannu in case if it is not refrigerated in case if it is refrigerated after 24 hours urine analysis contaminated urine samples with feces next specimens submitted in improper container and specimen received after 2 hours of collection if not refrigerated or after 8 hours if refrigerated like namu munadi paathola adhe maadhiri specimens vande 2 hours la vande collection panna odane receive pannu in case if it is not refrigerated in case refrigerated ah irundha 8 hours say no to foley's catheter culturing that is it is a flexible tube which is used to drain urine from the bladder and it is better to avoid collecting urine from foley's catheter as it correlate with the presence of uti urinary tract infection therefore request for culture of the specimen should be rejected feces specimen submitted in improper container stool specimens sent in a liquid other than saline formalin body fluids body fluid such as csf cerebro spinal fluid pleural fluid that is the fluid that accumulate in lungs next pericardial fluid that is the fluid that secreted by the serous layer of pericardium pericardium means layer of the heart next amniotic fluid it is a clear yellow fluid present inside the amniotic sac joint aspirates fluid from the space around the joints or rare and vital specimens and best to be performed in spite of limitations in the laboratory and not to forget 
no specimen will be rejected without consulting with technical specialist or pathologist blood cultures no more than four blood culture sets will be drawn in 24 hours no more than three blood culture sets from each subsequent and separate febrile illness febrile illness means acute fever transport temperature sometimes a temperature variations also result in sample rejection specimen left at room temperature will become overgrown with normal bacterial flora bacteria can multiply at room temperature particularly in urine samples therefore it is very important to have the specimen sent to the laboratory straight away or refrigerated in the specimen collection points important note specimen received by the laboratory are not discarded until getting order from the physician or responsible nursing unit is notified conclusion criteria for specimen rejections are dependent on individual test next event which may lead to the rejection of a specimen include specimen improperly labeled or unlabeled specimen improperly collected iv contamination intravenous contamination specimen sample volume not sufficient for requirement of test protocol thank you